It's an exciting time for some high school teams as they are getting ready to be featured on PBS. We're talking about the Scholars Bowl. Some brilliant minds from across our region taking part in a fantastic competition. Frank Murphy joining us virtually today to talk about the Scholars Bowl from Northeast Tennessee. And uh, Frank, this is exciting. I remember back in my own Scholars Bowl days talking about this. It's great to see the tournament back to happening again this year as well. It is amazing that this show has lasted as long as it has. I'm not trying to date you or anything, <laughs> Preston, but the show is now, you know, in its 38th season, you know, going back to the early 80s um, when it started. And now to see these kids coming along and being even as excited, if, if not more excited now than in the time that I've been involved. This is, I think, my uh, fifth or sixth season as host. And the kids seem to be more excited about the competition, more playful with each other on the set. You know, you ask them to tell me a little bit about yourself and they'll say, oh, well, actually, my favorite player is the person sitting next to me. And they joke around a bit before we start the competition and then it gets fierce. I wasn't around for those early episodes. Let's, let's clarify that. But <laughs> no, of course talk, not. <laughs> let's talk about what Scholars Bowl is and, and where these teams are coming from and, and what you guys are, are asking of them. Well, these are fairly difficult academic questions, and they could pertain to any of the academic subjects like uh, science, math. But we'll get into even some what we call current events questions that uh, may refer to something that happened within the past year. But then when you boil it down, the ultimate question may get about be about geography, for example. I mean, if I were to ask you a question about, you know, the uh, Suez Canal being blocked, ultimately the question becomes, what are the two bodies of water that the Suez Canal connects? And you'd have to say Mediterranean Sea and Red Sea. You know, so that's something you'd know from the news, but you'd also know from your social studies. Um, and the math questions can get really hard. The science questions sometimes. When I'm asking for the electron configurations of certain molecules, and I've got the answer, and it's just something like 1s1, 2s2, 3p. You know, I'm, I'm looking at it, and, the, and their students are rattling it off. I'm like, well, I actually had to call my son, who's a chemical engineer, and have him explain the concept to me. So now that I understand what I'm talking about, so it makes it a little easier to ask the question. Now, these, these students are coming from all across our region. Let's talk about the teams that are competing and what folks will see when they watch this play out on PBS. Right. You'll see two teams of four students each on camera. Plus, we have a couple of alternates who could come in at halftime. And the teams from Tri-Cities are so ultra competitive and really supportive of Scholars Bowl. I mean, you'll any given night, there's a good chance that you'll see a team from Science Hill because they put three teams into the tournament. Dobbins Bennett, which I think put two teams into the tournament. Um, also, you know, you've got uh, what used to be Sullivan, which is now um, Westridge. They merged, so they're in the tournament. Uh, Cherokee, keep an eye on Cherokee this year. You know, they had never won a game uh, previously in all their tries, but they really put together a team of some guys and girls who studied. And that's the key. They watch the past episodes, they study, they get into the rhythm, they get used to bringing the buzzer. Because you got to ring in. If you don't ring in first, it doesn't matter if you don't know. Duplicate is the So this is, for folks that aren't familiar with it, this is a bit of a Jeopardy type program, which we air Jeopardy here on News 5. But of course, this is featuring the brilliant minds local high school students. Exactly. And the questions are probably just as hard. And it's funny because you see some of the students obviously watch Jeopardy because they'll answer in the form of a question occasionally and I have to tease them on the air about it. And even one time, Preston, I was coming out of the post office and some guy looked at me and goes, hey, aren't you the host of high school Jeopardy? <laughs> I said, well... I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> and let's talk about when this show will air, when folks can see the, these young minds showcasing sure. what all they can do. We are on East Tennessee PBS every day at 530 in the afternoon, and that's year round. But the fresh shows start on Monday, January 10th, and we'll run all the way through. Um, actually, we'll probably get to the middle of uh, April by the time we finish showing everything. We're going to even repeat the championship rounds again at the end of uh, March. So you have January, February, March to check out all of these great teams each and every night. And you'll get in the habit of, you know, watching for your favorite players. And as we get deeper, of course, into the tournament, it's the same basic concept as a basketball tournament, you know, where we've got brackets and we've come down to the threshold of 32 and then the smart 16 and then the educated eight and the philosophical four until finally we have that championship match. It will definitely be exciting to see that play out. Frank, thanks for talking with us. It's Scholars Bowl. Great to have that happening this year, of course, happening over on East Tennessee PBS. We and as a former contestant, yes. Preston, you'll have to come in and be a guest judge for us one of these days, would you? Uh, we'll, we'll see. I'm sure they can probably outsmart <laughs> me by a mile this time. But <laughs> thank you for the invitation. All right. And, uh, of course, check it out on East Tennessee's PBS. We're back with more News 5 at noon happening here in just a moment. Stay with us.